This is the pump over here, which has e-box integrated to control and manage the operations of the pump. <coughs> These are two tablet PCs. One tablet PC is a roving tablet PC used by the nurse to get the patient's pertinent data and other bio data. And after she gets all the data, it will be archived in the backend database, which will be transmitted wirelessly. And then she can go on to the pump control GUI, and by entering the correct bed number, she will be able to start the regime in the correct pump. So, once the regime has started in the pump, the data will be sent back to the backend database, such as the infusion rate, the bolus control, the bolus uh, request, and everything. And then the medical person will be able to monitor all this data in this central monitoring system over here. By retrieving all the database, they can just at a glance can then uh, pay attention to the required patient. We do realize that in some situations there is no need for a tablet PC to control the pump. So what we have done is that we have built a standalone mode to control and manage the pump. The medical person then can choose the correct algorithm by depending on the patient's bio data. So they can choose the algorithm over on the keypad here. Let's go ahead and choose algorithm one. Algorithm one. So the standard to continue. So now the machine is actually prompting me to press enter to continue through this built-in speaker over here. So it's asking me to press enter. Let's go ahead and press enter to start the regime. Algorithm one selected. Press standard to start algorithm. So now let's go ahead and press enter again. Start algorithm. So now as you can see on the screen that. 0.1 mil per hour will be pumping in into the patient. Now the pump is actually increased to 0.1 mil. And later on, if the patient is in pain, she can request for a bolus by pressing either the bolus controller or manual override can be done on a number pad by pressing the slash T. And now as you can see that it has increased to 100 mil per hour. So this will continue for the next few minutes depending on the algorithm cho chosen. So, so what is the impact of this uh, system on metronome? What's the scale of uh, impact? Is it very um, it, it, it enables us to basically uh, monitor these patients more uh, thoroughly. It enables to track uh, patients' needs for medication and uh, with the um, Inbuilt auto capture of data. Oh, yeah. we, are, mm -hmm. we are potentially able to train mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, that will generate data for us for further analysis and further studies to, to basically enhance the system even further. Yeah. We are making use of the eBox 4300 to deploy our solution. So, after creating the new Windows CE project, we chose Industrial Appliance Device as our design template. Once we are done, the wizard will create a new Windows CE-based template. We further customize our OS by adding the necessary drivers like the VGA and wireless LAN. So now let's go and build the application. It's done. The OS image is built successfully. From the display on the hyper terminal, we can see the execution of the Ethernet bootloader and thus we are ready to connect to the platform builder and the eBox in order to deploy the OS image. Now it will be saved onto the flash disk so the eBox will be able to build the image. From the display on the hyper terminal, we can see the execution of the Ethernet bootloader and thus we are ready to connect to the platform builder and the eBox in order to deploy the OS image. Now it will be saved onto the flash disk so the eBox will be able to build the image.